All right, guys, Noah picked me up for lunch and we came and got some coffees, a decaf for me. Oh, that's really good. Oh, no it's way. really good, yeah. She so ordered that. something completely random. I could not tell what the barista was saying. Um, that's delicious. Mm. What's, mm -mm. What? So we wanted to sit and talk to you guys a little really quickly about our news. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not already know, but we are moving to... New York. We're moving to New York City in one month. <laughs> Literally, it's coming up so fast and I thought I would just answer all of your questions. Moving to New York City has actually been Noah and I's biggest dream since we started dating. Back in 2016, he asked me to be his girlfriend in New York. Um, and then later on, we got engaged in New York in 2017, right? I think so. Yeah, 2017. Like... And we got married not in New York in 2018, but, and now we're moving there. The first question we're gonna answer, why are you moving to New York City? So this is the crazy part is that we we had kind of given up on living in New York. Noah got a job offer. We tried. We tried for like two we or did. three years yep. to live in New York and we just could not afford it. We would look at our expenses and everything and we're like, there's just no way we would get there and have to come right back. So Noah got a job offer in LA and we moved out here. Once the pandemic started, uh, Noah actually was laid off and then he got offered another job at another company. And six months into that company, he is kicking ass there. He's doing really well. And because of the, that, they asked Noah if he'd want to transfer to their New York office. And we said yes. And when we said yes, we didn't realize it was gonna be a month away. But as soon as he said yes to moving to New York, we found out we were moving in one month. It was completely unexpected. It was unplanned. We're still living through it right now and trying to get everything done. It is a mess trying yeah. to figure it all out in a month, but we are making it work. Someone did ask what Noah does for work. Uh, so I work in the mortgage industry, super fun. Um, I want to tell you guys where he's going to, like the building he'll work at in New York City because it's so cool, but he doesn't want me to tell you just in case. Secret. He's a little private, but that's fine. <laughs> had a lot of questions about our moving plan. So our entire moving plan and what we're doing with our stuff, all of that is we are bringing our stuff with us because like I said, this was very unexpected. We just bought a new couch. We got a new console table. So yeah. the last thing we need to do is get rid of that stuff. Sell and it's rebuy. so we'll nice. I'd be so sad. So we were actually getting like a U-Pack, which is basically like a storage container where we, everything's gonna get loaded in the container and they will literally ship it all the way to New York City. And then we're gonna have movers help us unload it. We're still back and forth on flying versus driving to get to New York. I think right now we are 90% flying, 10% <laughs> driving. So I think we are gonna fly. We have two dogs, so that is gonna be interesting <laughs> they have never been on a plane we don't know what it's gonna be like they might be miserable i don't know i'm so nervous um when it comes to the pandemic stuff obviously this is a really tough time to move yep. we're not excited for it um but we can't have a car in new york so driving to new york city just seems miserable it really does. so i think right now our plan is what what we're thinking is that we're going to get tested before we go fly to new york with both dogs Ugh. get to new york and then get retested once we get there I th that sounds like the best plan to us and just you know take it as safely as possible obviously so we are selling our current car that we are in now which is tough it's miserable it is <laughs> tough because we no one's buying cars right now yep. um and then i should be drinking this and we are also gonna give our old car, the one that I paid off that I had driven for a few years, we're actually gonna surprise and give it to my brother, my youngest brother for like a Christmas gift. So we're gonna have it shipped to him. He gets his license in November. So we're gonna have it shipped to him right around that time. So that'll be really cool. That's pretty cool. I know. A lot of questions on how we found our place, like how, cause I mentioned on Instagram, we've already signed a lease. So we're all ready to go. A lot of questions on like, how did you find a place? online so our specific apartment complex basically has apartments all over the united states um and they happen to have a few buildings in new york city already and oh, i burp sorry <laughs> <laughs> since our lease isn't up in los angeles they gave us the offer the option to just transfer to New York City and then we only have to pay half of the deposit that we would have originally had to pay in New York City. Which is huge. We don't have to pay any lease break fees, which yeah. we would have had to pay a lot. We don't have to get approved and get a credit check. We don't even know if we would have gotten approved. 
Yeah, I don't we know. We don't even know if we Apparently would've... it's super tough Apparently, in New York. Yeah. But we've never seen the apartment. We don't know if there's gonna be a balcony or not. We don't know what it looks <laughs> like. It's so confusing. On So we do have an apartment. We looked online, did the best we could with the apartments on their website. We know that it's on the 18th floor. Mm -hmm. It's facing Manhattan or Midtown. Uh, Midtown Manhattan, so it should have a pretty nice view. It says it has wraparound windows. But there is some confusion because on the website it said it was all wood floor and it shows it has a balcony. But then when I talked to the lady, she said she thinks that it has wood floor in the living room but carpet in the bedroom. And then she said she doesn't know if it has a balcony anymore. Right. So we're, we don't know exactly what we're getting, but it felt like the best option was just to transfer our lease over and not have to pay all those fees. Absolutely. Because we looked at how much it would have been like to break our lease and move it would have been like thousands and thousands where we are only having to pay $500 for a new deposit. And that's it. Next question is what part of New York City are you moving to? We're gonna live in the Hell's Kitchen area. Um, we're really close to Central Park. I think it's technically like the Upper West Side. Um, we're like a five minute walk from Central Park. I think it was like a seven minute walk. So it tons seems of like restaurants. tons of restaurants. It seems like a good area. Yeah. Do you have any close friends in New York City or does Noah have any family? So it's kind of the reason <laughs> that we're going is that all of our friends and family for the most part are on the East Coast or Midwest. Yep. Noah's family is about a seven hour drive from New York City. When you have, you have a good amount of friends in New York City too. I do. I think I actually might have more friends in New York than I do in LA. The very last question um, was, oh, do you regret moving to LA? And when we first moved to LA two years ago, I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of LA, but I realized it had nothing to do with Los Angeles at all. I was just homesick. Yeah. Literally, we realized as soon as I had talked about on Instagram about me not liking it, all the things I said I didn't like were just the fact that I, we were away from our family and it was just homesickness. I think Los Angeles as a whole, I have grown to love a lot. There are so many beautiful places here. Yeah. There is the best, everything you want here. Like if you want to see the snow, you can drive to see snow. If you want to see mountains, beaches, city, like they do have everything. The food is wonderful. There are so many good people here. I know a lot of people say like all the stuff about their like people here being fake. I don't really think so. I think mm -hmm. there are fake people anywhere you go sure. and it's all about who you surround yourself with. And I think we, sur we surround ourselves to the best of our abilities with wonderful people. I will say it's been really hard to make friends in LA yep. just because a lot of people you know that grew up here are like already established in their friend groups and everything in Los Angeles is really spread apart. That's something like you don't realize until you get here but I wouldn't say that either of us hate LA. I think there's a lot of things that we're really sad about. You know there's a lot of things that we didn't get to do yet that we didn't get yep. to see. Um, we have a bucket list now. I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully this made some sense. It was a little rambly. We're just sitting in the car with our coffee. Um, but we're really excited and I'm rambling. Uh, let us know what kind of New York content you want to see. I'm trying to get this little cutie back on the channel a little bit more. So we love you and thank you all for your questions. If I didn't get to your question, I'm so sorry. Any ones I didn't get to, if you have more questions, leave them down below and I will answer them over on my Instagram stories. And for now, we will talk to you later. Bye.